So, a year ago, my HP Envy that I got in 2018 died, and I only got it repaired about a month ago. When it died, it was running Windows 11, but now I saw in my Windows update settings that it was saying my PC is not eligible for Windows 10. I asked why, and the reason was that Secure Boot is not enabled on my PC. Basically, Secure Boot is a security measure that boots Windows in an isolated state, just in case there are any malicious apps or viruses that can possibly attack your computer during the boot up process. So, since it was just a simple case of enabling Secure Boot, I restarted my PC, went into the BIOS settings, and I switched it from Legacy to UEFI simply because Legacy does not support Secure Boot. Once Secure Boot was enabled, I saved the changes, restarted my PC, and guess what? It was not detecting the hard drive and the bootable flash connected to one of the USB ports. Nothing I tried worked, so I had to switch back from UEFI to Legacy. I used Windows 10 for about three weeks and decided to go to the dark side, finding an unofficial way to install Windows 11. Now I will give you a fair warning, doing this will make your computer vulnerable to attacks. So first you will need to download a clean Windows 11 ISO file. I recommend you download it straight from Microsoft website, after all, it's free. Next. You download the Rufus version 3.16 from the link in the description. This version of Rufus will allow you to disable TPM and secure boot checks in the bootable drive we will create. Once the Windows 11 ISO is ready, plug in an 8 gig USB stick or bigger and launch Rufus. Select the USB stick and the Windows 11 ISO. Then under the image option, select the option with no TPM and no secure boot. Then on the partition scheme, you select the one that your system supports. Mine is not detecting the hard drive in UEFI, so I am forced to use legacy mode. And legacy mode recognizes the MBR partition. If your system supports UEFI, then you will go with the GPT partition. Maybe your system already has secure boot enabled and it is only lacking TPM. In such a scenario, it's not necessary to use legacy mode. Mine is a special case. Now all you need to do is click start and Rufus will start the process of converting the USB stick to a bootable disk. Once the process is complete, you restart your computer and enter boot setup, F9 on HP, and select the USB disk. This will take you to the Windows setup screen and you can just follow the steps. If you already had Windows installed on the drive, it will be moved to a Windows old folder with everything that was on the computer. But I recommend you make sure you back up all important files before performing this process. This is probably the cleanest and easiest way to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. But remember, we are bypassing Windows 11 security features, so it's not a recommended way of getting Windows 11. The best is just getting it directly from the Windows update. Speaking of Windows updates, I'm still getting all the security updates and Windows updates normally with no errors or warnings and everything is just as stable as it was before I went through this process. So for the two weeks I have been running Windows 11, I have had absolutely no issues with it. It's all good. 